Hi, this is Tom Bolt, Managing Partner of LMS, a human resources consulting firm operating out of Danbury, Connecticut. I'm the co-moderator of the Higher Friday Community Job Seeker Chat on Twitter every Friday using the hashtag HFChat. Every Friday at noon Eastern Time, uh, job seekers and job helpers get together to discuss topics related to finding employment in today's tough economy. Today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of Tweet Chat one of my favorites and one of the online tools that can make the chat on Twitter an easier and more useful experience. I recommend TweetChat for several reasons uh, and I'll point some of those out as we go through the demo but for people who may be new to Twitter or new to chatting on Twitter uh, this is a very easy tool and it doesn't require any specific technical ability or knowledge to be able to join in. All you need to have is an active Twitter account and you're all set. So, first open a browser on your computer. I'm using Google Chrome here as my preferred browser, but you can use Explorer, Firefox, Opera, or any other browser that you're comfortable with using. In the address bar, go to www.tweetchat.com and you'll see the screen shown here. Click on the Sign In button. And you're taken to a screen which hooks your Twitter account with TweetChat. When you use the tweet chat to post a tweet during a chat session, it automatically sends that message to your network. When you click on the button to authorize this app, you'll be redirected back to tweet chat, and you'll notice you're now logged in to your account through tweet chat. The next thing you want to do is go to the enter hashtag block at the top of the screen and enter the name of the chat session. In this case, it's HFChat. Click on the Go button. There's no need to enter the hashtag mark as it will be inserted automatically. One of the benefits of using a site like TweetChat is that when you enter a comment, it'll automatically add the hashtag for the session at the end of your tweet. So you don't have to remember to put it in the tweet to keep the chat flow going. You'll, you'll notice that the counter at the top right of the screen has defaulted to 132 characters since it subtracted the length of the hashtag from the maximum of 140 characters. Now for some special features. If you have to step away for a moment during the chat, you can hit the pause button and you can see it obviously uh, highlights that uh, the chat is paused and you don't want to do this for too long during an active chat like uh, HF chat because uh, you'll find out that when you come back you're going to be behind. Uh, it's very difficult to catch up uh, with all of the the tweets, the fast flurry of tweets that are going on. Uh, tweet Chat also has a feature called Smart Pause and uh, I'm going to push play to return to the active chat and if you scroll down, which is a good way to catch up if you did get behind in the chat, uh, it will automatically implement something called Smart Pausing which will allow you to uh, catch up on the tweets and as you scroll back to the top of the screen it goes live again. The refresh speed is the button next to that when the default is to refresh every 10 seconds. Now that's probably fast enough for beginners if you're an experienced user. I normally set it to every 5 seconds but you can move the slider either way depending on what your comfort level is. Uh, I recommend that for a rapid chat like TweetChat, you go to the low end of the scale rather than the high end, or you will get behind rather quickly. The user control button is used to block users or to feature users uh, during the chat session. I don't recommend doing this if you don't know what it's going to do. Uh, so play with this a little during the time that you are not in a live chat session and see what your tastes uh, are for this. You will have a chance to look at this a little later on. I'll show you another trick uh, to using this. I would, not also, I would also not recommend blocking retweets because in a chat like uh, HF chat, you are going to find that a lot of people will retweet a comment that someone made and embellish it or add their comments onto what someone else has already started. Or maybe they'll use a Twitter ID of someone to redirect that to someone else for an answer. The toggle font 
button does exactly what it says. There are only two sizes. The size you see now is a large font. Click once and you are in a smaller font size. I generally leave it set for the smaller size because it allows for more tweaks to be shown up on the screen. But this is also uh, due to, uh, uh, it's also suited to your personal taste and you can set it whichever way you want. The share link button does exactly what that says and this is rather interesting. If you're in the middle of a chat and you want to ask someone to join you, then you can click on the join me for chat uh, link which is automatically populated when you click the share link. If you wanted to direct this to someone else in your network, then you could just simply add their Twitter ID. And uh, when you click the update button, this would go to them. Uh, so this is one way to keep current. Uh, just precede their login with the at sign. Now you're ready to tweet. Uh, I'm going to erase this because I'm not going to send that out at this point. But uh, let's see how you would do this. First of all, as I type in, Now you'll notice that the counter has gone down to 81. That's how many characters I have remaining. And when I click on the update button, it will usually take a couple of seconds, usually about the same length of time as the refresh time. But if there's some other chatting going on, it may wait until the ones that are in queue ahead of you. Now there's the one that I just posted, and it tells you that I put this up. And there's the hashtag automatically added at the end, and it tells you the time and date that this was placed up there. The controls are simple to use. Uh, look at uh, the icon, which is the reply icon. It's the back arrow icon, and that replies to a particular tweet. So if you find a tweet somewhere that you want to, to highlight, then uh, just click on that, and you can see it automatically picks up all of the uh, Twitter IDs of the people that were highlighted in that particular chat. So you're actually responding to the person who made that, but you can, if you choose, include everyone else that was on the original tweet. Or you can just delete that and uh, just reply directly to the person who made that. The next icon over is one for a retweet. So if I wanted to retweet what someone has put out there, uh, I simply hit the retweet button and uh, one of the things that you'll see is uh, the tweet can when you retweet someone especially uh, during a live chat like this I'm now negative 23 in the count so this will not uh, be allowed uh, if you try to uh, submit this right now you'll get an error message so it's better to edit this somehow and it's ready to go. I click update and now that's going to be added to the Twitter stream. Now we've already discussed um, the user control feature. This is a place that you can do it on the fly during the chat and uh, so if you click on the little head icon you'll get the opportunity to either feature or block a user depending on, uh, on where you click. Be cautious when using this because in a fast-flowing chat, uh, you, sometimes it'll move down on the screen and you'll accidentally click on uh, a feature or block icon for someone else. The uh, star icon, of course, is how you favorite something. If you click on that, then it'll be favorited for you to uh, refer back to later. That's about it. It's simple and easy to use. Whether you're looking for a job or want to join the Compassionate HR people helping people look for a job, I hope you'll join the Higher Friday community every Friday from noon until 1 p.m. Eastern. All are invited to lurk and learn or tweet and teach. This is Tom Bolt. I'll see you on Friday.